Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. Uh, this video, we're going to show you how to use the data recorder in the JAL test software. Uh, this function is available in most systems that have fault code functionality as well as data monitoring functions. Um, so if it has those two options, then you will likely see that data, uh, data recorder function in there as well. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to go ahead and connect to this Detroit diesel engine module. Um, from there, we're going to see our, our diagnostic dashboard, and it, it's pretty clear which one we're after here. It's the, the, the one with the, the red record button on it, the data recorder. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click data recorder, and uh, you will see here a, a few things just... Um, uh, just a, a note of the limitations here, the 24 measurements total maximum um, for a maximum of 90 minutes of recording. So there is a limitation to how long we can record and also how many parameters uh, or measurements we can take at once. So uh, once we've uh, identified that, we'll go through and uh, hit the check mark. Note that you can also set triggers in the data recorder, uh, just like in our data monitor function as well. Um, so from here, I just want to select a, a couple of uh, a couple of parameters out of the list here. So one engine speed, that's nice and easy. Um, and then I'll just go through and select some temperatures too. So we'll do our DOC inlet, our DOC outlet, um, and our, our temperature after the diesel particulate filter. Um, and then uh, once I've selected the, the, the parameters that I want to view, I'm going to go and click that check mark button. That check mark button is going to take us into the data recorder and you can see it automatically starts recording measurements. Okay. So from this point, we have 90 minutes um, to, to record uh, the, the parameters that we selected in the list here. So uh, the first thing we see here is um, information about the module itself. So this is information about the diesel uh, Detroit diesel controller that we're connected to right now. Um, and then if I click up on read fall codes, we're going to have a, uh, an opportunity to look at fall codes um, while we're um, in operation. Okay. So if we're on a test drive um, and we're recording data and we're waiting for, you know, we're trying to hit that, um, that duty cycle in order to make a fall code come active uh, or we're watching to see if a fall code goes inactive this is where we're going to be able to identify that and we can line that up now um, with uh, specific measurements that we that we might see in the parameters so we can see you know if we were monitoring oil pressure we could see what the oil pressure was when this oil pressure too low fault came active so if i go down to monitoring um, from here you can you can automatically click on this uh, interactive view but you do get um, a li the list of parameters. So you're going to see a list of the measurements that you're taking. They're constantly updating here. And then if I click on the interactive view, this is going to give me those gauges. Okay. So I can see these in a gauge form as well. Uh, just a little nicer to look at potentially. If I want to graph any of this stuff, I just click the ones that I want um, and then click the graphing function. You can see that shows up here in, in the, um, in the graphing screen. Um, so this is just another way to visualize the data while you're in the recorder function. And then, you know, at any point in time, I'm, when I'm finished my recording, I'll go ahead and hit cancel and this will automatically save a copy of this, uh, this data, uh, record, uh, data recording file, um, in a default folder within the, uh, the software here. So it's going to actually be on your local drive. Um, you can go ahead and hit accept and that's going to actually bring up the recorded file. So you'll be able to view the, the, um, the results, uh, or at any point in time, you can actually open up. You don't have to have a connection to a vehicle or anything. Um, you can actually just go up to preferences and hit data player. And from here, we'll be able to actually open up, uh, the, the data file. So I just go through my, this will be this, this, uh, folder is going to hold all of my data files. Um, so I'm going to click on whichever one it is. I want to look at, hit the open, uh, the open, open button and then click start. And then this is going to give me access to, um, the data. So if I hit the play button in the corner here, it's going to go through and update the data. Um, you know, uh, as it, as it happened every second while we were recording. Um, and again, we've got our fall code live fall code readings here as well. And we can grab our fall code information and that kind of thing also, um, while we're doing the data recording. Okay, so that's the uh, data recording function. Um, also, not only how to create a, a, um, a data recording, but also how to re view a data recording after the fact.
Okay. So, um, I, again, um, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions at all for, for other videos, uh, please hit us up in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more instructional videos on the Jaw Test software. Um, and uh, make sure you check out our, our website, www.wholefleet.ca, um, or give us a call or email if we can help you out with anything.